Hello friends, I am Ambika. Welcome to SA Educational Hub, a platform to share knowledge, service providers, Situn and Ambika. In this Python tutorial video, we will learn what is an error in a program. Then we will discuss three different types of errors, namely syntax error, logical errors and runtime errors with examples. Errors in a program. An error also referred to as a bug is something wrong in a program that prevents it from compiling and executing properly. Debugging is the process of detecting and removing errors in a program so that the program produces the desired results on all occasions. Every programmer should be aware of the fact that rarely does a program run perfectly the first time. No matter how thoroughly the design is carried out and no matter how much care is taken in coding, one can never say that the program would be 100% error free. It is therefore necessary to make efforts to detect, isolate and correct any errors that are likely to be present in the program. The errors in a program can be classified into three categories syntax errors, logical errors and runtime errors. Syntax errors Syntax errors occur when the rules of a programming language are violated. Syntax errors are detected during compile time for compiled languages. For interpreted languages, a syntax error is detected during program execution. Syntax is the grammatical rules of a language, the set of keywords and formatting rules that must be followed when writing a program. The compiler or interpreter can detect and isolate such errors. When syntax errors are present, the compilation fails and is terminated after listing the errors and the line numbers in the program where the errors have occurred. For example, in Python, the erroneous line is displayed by the parser which also indicates where the fault was first found in the line with a small arrow. In some cases, the line number may not exactly indicate the place of the error. In other cases, one syntax error may result in a long list of errors. Correction of one or two errors at the beginning of the program may eliminate the entire list. Syntax errors are the most common errors and typically they involve incorrect punctuation, incorrect keywords, incorrect indentations, incorrect arguments or undefined terms. For example, in Python, print welcome to Python contains a syntax error. In this example, the error is due to missing quotes. The correct statement is print welcome to Python enclosed within quotes. Similarly, print hello world contains an error. In this example, the error is incorrect spelling of keyword print. Example A double equal signs 10 print A. In this example, the error is name error name A is not defined. In Python, double equal signs are not an assignment operator. The assignment operator is a single equal sign. The correct code is a is equal to 10 print a. Syntax errors are easier to correct because they provide useful error messages which gives an idea about what is wrong with the program. Logical errors. Logical errors are related to the logic of the program execution. Logical errors are the most difficult to detect because the compiler or interpreter does not produce any error messages for this type of errors. Even though the program might run successfully, a logical error produces an undesired result or other behavior although it may not be immediately recognized as such. These errors are primarily due to a poor understanding of the problem, an incorrect translation of the algorithm into the program and a lack of clarity in the order of precedence of operator. 
For example, if an instruction such as a equals b times c is needed to multiply two numbers but has been coded as a equals b plus c, then the program will run successfully but the output produced will not be correct. Example, this program will not produce the correct result. This example will calculate the average of two numbers entered by the user. But the program will not produce the correct result because of the order of precedence of operators. Here the division will be evaluated before the addition because the division operator has a higher precedence than the addition operator so the output will be 7 instead of 5. The correct code is given below. We can rectify the logical error in this code by simply adding the parenthesis to the statement c equals a plus b by 2. Now this code will produce the correct output which is 5. Runtime errors. Even if a program is syntactically correct, it may cause an error when an attempt is made to execute it. Errors detected during execution are called runtime errors or exceptions. When runtime errors stop the execution of the program, we say that the program has crashed or been abnormally terminated. Examples of some runtime errors are divide by zero, using an identifier that has not been defined, performing an operation on incompatible types, accessing a list element, dictionary value or object attribute that does not exist and an infinite loop. Example, the last line of the error message indicates the type of error. In this example, the error is division by zero. This code will take two values as input from the user and assign them to the variables a and v respectively. Then in the following statements, we have converted these string values into integer types by using the int function. In the next statement, we divided a by b. If the value of b is 0, then python will return the error message division by 0. Example 2. The last line of the error message indicates the type of error. In this example, the error is name c is not defined. Here we have defined the variable a and v but we have not defined the variable c. That's why python will return an error message. Example 3. The last line of the error message indicates the type of error. In this example the error is type error. Here we have added an integer value to a string value. In this example, we have used type casting for the variable a to convert a string type value into an integer type. But in the case of variable b, we have not used type casting. By default, the input function returns a string value even if we enter an integer value. So when we add an integer value to a string value, Python will return an error message. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Contact us ambigarai27 at gmail.com. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you.